Okay, next we're going to talk about the modes, the various modes that we have here in our Pro Tools 8 LE. Now, as you can see here, um, this is the mode section here in our upper left-hand corner. We've got shuffle, we have st spot mode, we've got slip mode, and we have grid mode. Now, with grid mode, we have two different options. We have uh, relative and absolute. Now, you, if you click on the triangle in the corner of the grid mode, you can select absolute or relative. Or you can just click on it and switch back and forth. Then we're back here to shuffle mode. Now, this is my view, my current view. I want to do one thing. I want to make it really a little bit better for me to see everything here. Well, let's go back here. Okay, here we go. We're in Edit Window View Select. I'll click on the triangle, and I can let's see. Get rid of this. I want to get rid of that. Uh, the inserts. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the I/O. Um, the real time properties, and here's track color. Now, track color I prefer to keep myself because when you have track color, you can actually see the color of each track. For example, here you'll notice that I've got um, a master track. The master track is maroon. See the color there? And the audio track is blue. So I have to know the colors of my tracks from using them. So I'll go back in my master track, bring that down. I want to make this track a little bit larger. There we go. Uh, maybe jumbo. That's pretty good. You can see it well there. Perfect. Now, here in Shuffle, for example, I have a stereo track. This is a stereo region. I'll play it. You can see here the two uh, LED meters go up here. So we know it's a stereo. Right. Now, I'm going to grab this region. I'm going to copy it. Let's go here through Copy. Next, I'm going to find a place I want to put it out. Say, I want to put it right there. Okay. I'm going to go paste. Let's paste it in. We've pasted the region there. Now, what happens here in this shuffle view is that I can take this region. I'm using a trim tool, actually. Check this out here. I've got a tool here. That's my scrub. I can scrub along, get the right piece. I'm using a three tool. Here. I love this tool here. I got three different tools. I got a trimmer on both ends. Top part, I got a selector. Select the piece of the region I want to select. Bottom half, got a grabber. Can grab it and move it. Now, I'm going to take this region here. I'm going to like, oh, let's see. I'm going to take it and cut it up. I'm going to get rid of that piece right there. Cut. It's gone. But now I got two regions. See that? I chopped it out, and what happened here was that we actually got the region to snap to the next region next to it. See that? So I can take this region out, and I want to put it over here. Bam, it's, it's still there now. So I can shuffle and move regions within the track. I can add another one. Let's go to here and say, I want to do paste. See that? I pasted the one I had before. This piece right here is pasted right there. See that? But it doesn't snap to the track. It goes to where I selected the point to the point where I selected it to go to, to be pasted in that, right there. Now, I can take this piece and move it over to the end here, and it's there, but the space remains there. Now, what happens in shuffle mode is that you can cut, you can paste, you can delete, you can do anything in the region freely within the track or to other tracks, but the movement is constrained by other regions. Now, that is to say, for example, that if I place several regions in a track, they automatically snap to each other, as you can see here. I put this here, it snaps to that one, bam, look at that. It snapped, now the space is just here. Now, it made this, this whole thing became that one space thing. Before me, undo that. See, I grab it, I move it here, undo it. See, this space here, and this space here. Now, move over here. Let's take it, grab it, it's over there, see that? And now this space is bigger because they're all snapping to the space. The space is almost like it's a region, but it's just a space there. So in shuffle mode, adding another region to the beginning of a track also moves other regions back. So I can take this, take this open up again, but over here at the top, bam, they all move back. Look at that. But they're snapping to each other. There's no space allowed. It's a tight fit. It's important to know that. Now what I can do too, I can get rid of this, undo that, I can... Say, well, get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. 
Now, I've got this one region right here. Now, this is kind of cool using shuffle mode when let's say you've got a loop and you want to loop this thing to a track or to a specific area of that track, you might want to have some space there if you want, you know, say one part's for the bridge, one part's for the chorus or whatever. I'm going to take this one region. Next. I want to duplicate it. I'll duplicate it again. Go to edit. Duplicate. Now you got it selected, duplicate it. If it's not selected, you can't do anything. There's no option to do a duplication. So you've got to make sure you can grab a duplicate. Now, I can start from the top again. And you're going to notice that this loop actually works. That means I can go from one end of the loop, next loop, and it fits in perfectly. See? It's a great way to put your loops together in a specific track. So you've got it rolling along without any problems. The writer got the right beginning and the right ending, and it's trimmed properly. And that's how shuffle mode works.